I think we've tried. I think we have an, an excellent education service within the Assembly where young people can come in and experience what it's like to, to take part in a debate, to, do, to, do, um, to look at subjects and then debate it and understand some of those processes. Um, certainly the Assembly's tried to be more open in its, in its dealings. I mean, we, we, we meet, um, we, everything is open there, people are allowed to come to committees. I think as well that um, we try to make it accessible for all sorts of people and I'm very pleased that uh, what we do now is we have, uh, um, for anyone who is deaf or hard of hearing and they use sign language, we, uh, they can come in and we, we, we will provide them a BSL interpreter for them, so it's a British Sign Language interpreter for them. So we're trying to include everybody. I think um, I think we've moved away from the honourable the honourable gentleman and the, and the honourable lady and my honourable friend because I think we've moved from that and we actually use um, first name terms in the chamber with the exception of um, of the presiding officer for whom the, the position is is seen as a, a position of respect so you, re you refer to presiding officer or deputy presiding officer like that but I mean I'm more likely to get up and say will Nick Bourne take an intervention I don't say will the honourable member for the leader of the opposition take the intervention it's Nick will you take an intervention you know he's likely to get up and say you know will you take an intervention Anne? and I think that makes people think that it's like a conversation I think that's what debating is really is a conversation and it's you know it's not who shouts the loudest it is whether you can get your point over if your point's a good point and it gets over then you get the support of everybody and I think that uh, we've done a lot in that respect I listen to Parliament sometimes and I wonder who they're talking about you know the honourable gentleman for wherever and wherever well by the time you've worked that out if I like to get up every time and say uh, would the honourable gentleman for South West Wales and the Valleys constituency agree with me I've forgotten who I'm talking to but if I want to get up and say will Alan Cairns agree with me at least we all know who we're talking about, don't we? So I think we've done a, it's some, We've tried to do something in that respect, and I hope that uh, I hope we can break down the barriers f further. You know.